Hi there, my name is Lawrence Tyndall here at Glidefast Consulting, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the Asset Management Executive Dashboard in ServiceNow. Before we review the dashboard, I want to explain what the Asset Management Executive Dashboard is and who the target audience is. The Asset Management Executive Dashboard is a dashboard included with the Hardware Asset Management Professional Licensable Application from ServiceNow and includes important KPIs for Hardware Asset Management, Software Asset Management and Cloud Insights applications. The target audience for the dashboard is executive members of an organization who would like to have visibility of the overall asset management operations within their organization. Please note, in order to view the dashboard, you need to have the sn underscore item underscore common dot asset underscore exec role assigned to your user account. Now that we've covered what the Asset Management Executive Dashboard is, let's take a look at it. To navigate to the dashboard, type in Asset Executive Workspace into the Navigation Filter and click on the Asset Executive Workspace module located underneath the Asset Management application. A new tab will open where you'll be directed to the Asset Management Executive Dashboard. In the first chart, Total Spend, this chart displays the total cost for all software asset management entitlements, the total cost for all hardware assets that have the status of in stock, in use, in maintenance, and in transit, and the total active cost for all cloud resources. As you can see below the main KPI, the cost is broken down by software, hardware, and cloud. In the next chart, Actual Savings, this chart displays the total yearly savings for all software and cloud products. The software figure is generated by calculating the total savings from all reclamation candidates that have the close complete status, and the cloud figure is generated by calculating the monthly savings on cloud resources. Next, we have the potential savings chart. This chart displays the cost saved if removal candidates are reclaimed for software assets and the total potential monthly savings on cloud right sizing and used cloud machines, cloud business hours and cloud reservations. Now that we've covered the main charts, let's scroll down to the asset fulfillment time chart. This chart displays the fulfillment time in days that it's taken to fulfill hardware and software requests. As you can see, it's broken down between 0 to 5 days, 6 to 10 days, 11 to 20 days 21 to 30 days and 31 plus days. This chart is great as it allows you to easily look into potential fulfillment and delivery issues for hardware and software requests. Next, we have the completed software success goals KPI. This KPI displays the number of software asset management success goals that have been completed. In the next KPI, software success savings, this KPI displays the actual savings derived from completed success goals. And if we scroll down towards the bottom of this dashboard, you'll see we have the missing hardware assets, software true-up cost, and expiring contracts in the next 90 days charts. The first chart simply displays how many hardware assets have the status of missing, lost, or stolen. In the second chart, software true-up cost, this chart displays the total cost of all products being used. Then in the final chart, expiring contracts in the next 90 days, this chart displays the total count of all software and hardware contracts that are expiring in the next 90 days. In the next chart, assets pulled from pool versus net new purchase, this chart displays the number of requests for software, hardware and cloud assets that have been fulfilled from inventory versus creating purchase orders for new assets. This chart is useful as it gives members of an organization an overview of what existing asset inventory is being used versus purchases being made. And in the final chart, end of life models in the next 90 days, this bar chart displays the total number of software and hardware models that are reaching their end of life in the next 90 days. This chart also looks at the end of life end of support, and end of extended support lifecycle dates for models. 
And that is all for the Asset Management Executive Dashboard and ServiceNow. Now.